All right, guys, happy Saturday. We got our running clock workouts today. So the first part is going to be a 15 minute EMOM. There's three movements, which means we're going to be rotating through every minute, each movement for five rounds. All right, the first one we don't do that often is a D ball clean. So um, this should be challenging to pick up. I'm gonna talk about how to do this. Um, if there isn't a weight that you want in a D ball, we can also do this with a heavy medicine ball, maybe a heavy sandbag. Um, but here's how it looks. So with the D ball, you're gonna straddle the ball and get your hands underneath it. If it's heavy, the first thing you're gonna do is basically a deadlift and place the ball on your knees. And then you're going to wrap your hands around it and then hip drive it up to your shoulder. Technically you should finish with it one arm, one arm, let's go with the ball. That's like the finished rep and then you drop it. So it looks like this. First thing, I kind of get my fingers. You always notice like particularly even with a sandbag, you kind of rock back and forth to get your hands underneath it a little better. You're going to just straight arms, pick it up to the legs. Okay. Now from here, I can get that ball or weight to my chest. I wrap around as big as I can. Now I'm going to keep it in contact with my chest while I drive up, up to my shoulder and then let one arm go. And that's one rep. Okay. And then I drop it. All right. So reset and then pick it up again. If it's lighter, I don't have to stop on my leg. So I can just get underneath it and basically do like a power clean. I drive straight up, up to my shoulder. Um, if it's light enough, you can do that. So that's seven reps. As long as that takes you rest the remainder of the minute. From there we go to 10 strict handstand pushups. So these are hard for a lot of people. A common scale will be a seated dumbbell press. If you just want to work on overhead strength, find some dumbbells, challenging set of 10, get a good lockout. Okay. From there we can go to variations where we do like a down dog. Okay. Hips are high. Head starts between the arms. I touch the top of my head, drive back to that start position. If you can do that for 10, you can elevate your feet and do a rep here. Always finishing and starting with my head between my arms. Okay, the full range of motion movement would be up against the wall, right? Where you kick up, tap your head and drive out. Okay, so you should be able to get a set of 10 when you're fresh for sure. Feel free to scale the reps or variation as you go. Um, from there, it's going to be on the bike for calories. So 12 for guys, 10 for women, push through those calories. When you finish that, you're going to go through that whole sequence five times. So. Again, the first round should feel doable and it gets more challenging as you go because this is only part one of today's workout. All right. So from here, you're going to rest three minutes and then you're going to have a 15 minute window to do super simple workout. It's going to be burpees and kipping pull ups. It's going to be 18, 15, 12, nine reps of each. So you can do 18 of each, then 15, then 12, then nine of each burpees and pull ups. So the burpees are just the basic burpee. Okay. So down to the floor, jump and clap. Big thing here, chest and thighs touch the floor at the bottom. And even more important is at the top. We want to see that your body is vertical. So the burpee does not finish with a clap. If you're bent over, you have to stand up and get that full range of motion every single rep. Okay. So, uh, that's the burpee. And then the pull up is the kipping pull up. So the basic kipping pull up, great day to practice that. Um, or always feel free to use a band. You can do a banded kipping pull up. If you haven't learned that yet, just do an easy feeling. Use a lot of band strict pull up. Okay. All the way down to feel free to do some ring rows if you need. Okay. Again, this is meant to be fast. You're going to be already tired when you start this part of the workout. So do something you feel comfortable with, with some intensity. Okay. Then you get a five minute rest. And the last part of today is going to be a sprint back on the bike. If there's not enough bikes for everyone in class. Some people can do the skier or the rower, but it's going to be 50 cals for guys, 35 for the women. This is meant to be a sprint. So uh, have fun with this guys. We'll see you tomorrow.